This is part one of the polarization lab. Laser light comes in from over this end, passes down the length of the table, and hits a screen. This is a polarizer. It's got an indicator attached to it over here, showing the pass axis. In other words, if the incoming light is polarized parallel to that indicator, it passes through. If it's polarized perpendicular to that indicator, it gets blocked. There's a second polarizer over here with the same indicator and a screen at the end. Right now, the laser is polarized vertically, lined up with the first polarizer and lined up with the second polarizer, and the light goes straight through. Now, if I rotate this polarizer 90 degrees, we see the lights extinguished, and it varies continuously between the two. Okay, now. What happens if I introduce a third polarizer? This is another, a different type of polarizer, but again, its pass axis is indicated by the, uh, by the rotating knob. If I align it, say, halfway between and slide it, well, first, let me align it parallel with the second polarizer like that and insert it in there, and we see no light getting through. If I align it with the first polarizer, again, no light getting through. But if I put it at 45 degrees to the two, some light is getting through. So if I align it with either of the two polarizers, nothing gets through. And if I align it at 45 degrees, then we have a max. Now I've replaced the screen with a detector, an electronic detector, with a readout. So we can get quantitative readings on our measurements. The number right now represents what you get if I completely block all the light going into the detector. So this 0 .004 volts represents zero intensity with our detection system here. So all the readings we take off this meter should have this 0 .004 volts subtracted from them to get the accurate reading. So Malice's law says the, pass, the transmitted intensity depends on the cosine squared of the angle between the two polarizers. Right now they're at 90 degrees, the, the beam is blocked, and our intensity is zero. So let's take data for 10 at 10 degree intervals. Right, so I'm at 90 degrees now, 80 degrees, seventy degrees, sixty. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 0 degrees. The two polarizers are aligned now. I can keep right on going and go 10 degrees on the other side, minus 10 degrees, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and we're back to our zero reading again.